What's good? This Poetic Expressions, a.k.a. Paul Cram, the poet. And um, I'm getting ready to bring a new piece, this erotic piece, called uh, Mental Masturbation. I did it. I finally did it. I gave you the key. Not to my heart or my home, but to a whole new world that is filled with ecstasy. You see, you said you've dreamed about me and uh, some things that you really wanted to do. Well, I'm here to let you know, baby, that I can make all of your dreams come true. So what I need you to do is just close your eyes and visualize as I sit back and explain the real reason you will receive chills every time you hear my name. You will receive a phone call from my cell to yours telling you I'm in room 222, baby. Just, just knock on the door. But when you get there, you'll find an envelope and on it would be your name. And inside you'll find a key card and rules to my ecstasy game. When you walk in, you'll realize that you're in a candlelit room. And on a bed, you know, there's a card with instructions, and these instructions are just for you. These instructions will tell you to take off all of your clothes and put on your favorite baby-making CD. Then come into the bathroom where the hot tub, you can join me. As you enter the bathroom, I'll give you a champagne-filled glass. Then I'll watch you sip it slowly as I gently rub your ass. Sitting in the tub with my back against a ceramic and your back on my chest, I'm rolling my tongue across your neck as your breasts I start to caress. You're turning me on with each and every moan as my hands take a southern trip between your breasts, past your belly button, below your bikini line. Until I reach that yearning clip. Rubbing in a circle of motion until I slip my fingers inside. I'm now nibbling on your neck and your ears. Your legs start to open wide. You see you ready to get the dick right now. But I have other plans for us. So I get out of the tub and whisper in your ear and tell your baby right now there's no need to rush. But at that moment, I pick you up. Legs across my right arm as my left arm cradles your head. You then rub your hands across my naked wet back as I carry you towards the bed. I then lay you on your back and feed you chocolate cream covered cherries. You land there looking pretty as Hallie, so I'm going to go down and eat your berry. My thumb and index finger rolling your nipples. I lick your clip. My tongue extended real hard deep inside, making you beg for the dick. So I oblige your request by giving you a gift that you haven't received yet. Eight and a half inches of rock hard penis in a spot that's dripping wet. With your arms pinned down to the bed and your thick, sexy legs on my strong shoulders, you quickly realize that you're not messing with a boy, baby, but you fucking with a sex soldier. With each stroke, your moans get louder, but I know it's not because it hurt. I let your arms go, you wrap around me tightly, repeating no God like you inside of somebody's church. I then slide out of you, get out of the bed, and I make your body bend. I wrap my hands in your hair, spread your legs, and from the back again I slide in. I'm pulling your hair while cheeks and pelvis meet, making a beautiful <laughs> smack. Your pleasure muscles starting to contract real fast while your eyes roll back. The words, I'm coming, slip softly from between your teeth. But that's what happens when you with poetic expressions and we in between these sheets. You see, deep and deep inside I go and hard and hard inside I thrust. After about three of your orgasms, baby, I think I'm finally ready to bust. So I'm still deep inside as you order for me to stroke it fast. I stroke it to the very last second, pull it out and shoot it on your beautiful round ass. Your pleasure muscles still throbbing while you lay across the sheets. I place a pillow under your head because you quickly fell asleep. So now that you've visualized everything that we can do, it's time to wake up from your dream state so we can make this dream here come true. Mental masturbation. Thanks for listening.